So Rudolph Isley sued his brother Ronald for going behind his back and purchasing the Isley brothers trademark and keeping all the profits. So this all unfolded between the bro brothers and former bandmates in the Illinois court system. So on Monday, Rudolph filed a lawsuit against Ronald accusing his younger brother of secretly and unfairly obtaining exclusive rights to the Isley brothers trademark. Rudolph is requesting a trial by jury to try and regain what he thinks is his rightful 50% share of the Isley Brothers empire. So basically what Rudolph is saying is that all the expenses, profits, property, and control of the business that were accrued under the Isley Brothers trademark have always been divided equally among the singing group's founding members, which is Rudolph, Ronald, and O'Kelly Isley since the band was created in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, after the oldest brother, O'Kelly, died in March 1986, Rudolph and Ronald agreed to 50-50 ownership of the band and trademark, which is what the lawsuit states. So, Rudolph is claiming that in November 2021, Ronald filed to register exclusive rights on the trademark in his own personal name for visual recordings and audio visual recordings featuring music and that he did this without telling Rudolph and that his application was approved and registered by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in August 2022. So Rudolph, who's 83 years old, like I said, he's a founding member of the group, but he stopped performing with the Isley Brothers in 1989 while he was dealing with some health issues and he was also mourning the loss of his older brother and bandmate Old Kelly. So he has not recorded with the band since then, um, but court documents show that he uh, believes that he's remained active in promoting and managing the group's properties and that he deserves to keep his half of their earnings. So Ronald and the brother Ernie Isley now have, you know, they perform as a duo under the Isley brothers name. So Rudolph is alleging that Ronald has, within the past year, offered goods and services to the public under this new trademark without the authorization or approval of Rudolph and has failed to account to make payment to him. So there's a letter included in the lawsuit from Ronald's attorney to Rudolph's attorney that says that Ronald doesn't have a problem jointly deciding and incorporating Rudolph in Isley Brothers business. However, it would only be for the years that Rudolph was a working member of the Isley Brothers group. Rudolph, retired in 1986, has had no involvement in any of the composition's body of works done after he retired and has not performed with the Isley Brothers since the death of O'Kelly uh, Isley is what is listed in that uh, letter between the lawyers. So my question is... You know, was this a contractual agreement? Not that it really matters because it's been in, it, it's obviously been in place for so long that I do believe, um, you know, Rudolph, when he said that he was getting 50, 50 percent, you know, of it now, maybe things have changed now where Ronald doesn't feel that he still to deserves to get 50, 50, you know, I know that. The, you know now they're touring they're on the charts now they have that remix with uh Beyonce and maybe he feels like you know him and Ernie should be getting a little bit more now but the the correct thing to do would have been to have a conversation and a discussion with you know the brother instead of doing it behind his back regardless if it hadn't gone well um you know, at least I think he owed it to him to try to go the right way. And then if it didn't work out and he had to go to legal ways, then that's a whole different story. But no one wins when the family feuds. 
So I was actually kind of just checking out the comments and seeing what people were saying. Of course, a lot of people were on Rudolph's side. They said Ronald been low down for some time now that he went to prison um, for claiming their dead brother on their taxes or had something to do with Social Security. Woo, let me say allegedly. Um, and then it was like, you know, it seemed like there was some clicks going on. Rudolph and the deceased brother O'Kelly were kind of clickish and they were really close. And then there was Ronald and I, uh, Ernie, you know, they, they had their thing going. And then there's Vernon and Marvin, and I'm not sure whose side they're on. But, you know, it does appear that it's always been 50-50. And like I said, maybe they feel like, you know, we're doing all the work. We got us on the charts again. We deserve more. But going about it this way, I do not feel was the right way to go about it. And it just comes off as sneaky and backhanded. So let me know what y'all think. You know, um, tell us in the comments what you think whose side you you know you're on who do you who you think um was in the wrong and who you think was in the right and make sure to check out other content that we have on our channel that you may like and thanks for watching i'm hoping that they can figure everything out talk about fight the power that that ooh, chuck d was inspired by your guys fight the power mm -hmm. oh yeah ernie wrote that mm. yeah we uh had our family uh after we finished the Live It Up album, literally, in 74, uh, our mother, nieces and nephews and the wives came out and uh, I was in a good mood and I jumped in the shower. And for some reason, I started half singing or reciting. Time is truly wasting. There's no guarantee. Mm -hmm. Smiles in the making. Fight the powers that be. Mm. And soap went this way. <laughs> shower curtain went that way. Water's everywhere. And I jumped out the shower and grabbed a pencil, a piece of paper, scribbled that down, and put that in my hip pocket of when we went to Disneyland that day. I didn't say anything about that song for another two or three months. But You're telling uh, me you wrote a hit record and then went to Disneyland? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you going? That was some like, cool shit. Like, like, like the commercial. <laughs> you know? Where you going next? Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You yeah, but at the time, I already started writing songs like at Harvest for the World and mm -hmm. At Your Best You of Love mm -hmm. and Make Me Say It Again, the song right. now, now and, mm -hmm. right. and on and on and on, you know. Right. I wrote a lot of songs at the beginning before he got into the group, the right. history thing and shout, shout and mm -hmm. all that type, right. you know, work to do.